is to capture massive buildings into a frame with everything around it is A, a challenge because they're so big. Um, but it's, it's also re very rewarding if you get everything into perspectives and you know, they don't move, but everything else around it can move. Um, I brought this little thing, which can do very small, slow movements on a very long distance. Um, and you don't need to put up a track or anything, which is, you know, goes easily from A to B. So I can travel about eight to 10 meters. And, you know, it should take about two hours to travel that distance. Um, so that's the sort of shots um, that, that I'm trying to achieve here, or the entrance hall which is a very long move towards the gates. So I needed to come up with something that, that, that does that. So this is a, a normal remote control car you can, you can buy. Um, I bought two so I can you know, exchange some of the parts around it. I stripped the complete engine out. I put my own little motor in it because it has to go slow, not fast, which is normally what I designed for. So the front axle and the rear axle and the base plate and, and the gear came as from the car. Um, the engine is obviously something I brought somewhere else, I put it in, um, and there's a little camera mount. And there's some electronics that control the whole movement and how far, how fast the, the motor should really go. Uh, I'm normally on the street somewhere in public places and um, try to get my, my images, but to be here and to not be disturbed and be able to take an image and look at it and do it properly without being chased away is, is a great advantage.